Hey everybody, my name is Allison if you're new here and today I wanted to share with you my thrifting wish list. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of thrifting content. I really love to go thrifting. I live in Manhattan and there are just so many good thrift stores at my fingertips that I can just go to when I want to and it gets really overwhelming. It's obviously like such a luxury to have that. I'm really lucky to live here and have access to so many cool thrift stores but it also makes it much more overwhelming when it comes to purchasing things just because there are so many things that I want and just so many cool deals and things that you know I don't know I want them until I see them at the thrift store so today I thought I would come up with a designated list that I will have when I go into the thrift store the next time and for the future that way I can just kind of know what I'm looking for and not kind of walk around aimlessly figuring out like what I might want. I thought this would kind of help me figure out what I want to spend my money on more particularly and also kind of just like figure out the spring and summer trends that I want to be part of and kind of thrift for those instead. I always prefer to go thrifting for trends versus buying them at the store just because it's better for the planet and it's also just a lot more affordable for me. So I thought I would share this list with you that I came up with. So the first one on my list is something that I've actually been searching for for a long time now. It's been at least a year that I've been wanting these and it is a pair of black chunky loafers. Something with like a lug sole. There are a pair of Prada loafers that I see all over Pinterest that I always just dream about. I definitely could not afford something like that, but if I found a pair of lug sole loafers at the thrift store, I would 100% pick them up. I would love to have a pair of chunky loafers. I think they're adorable with like pretty much any outfit out there. I love them with little white socks and I just think they make every outfit look so effortlessly cool. So I definitely think that would be a great thing to have and for spring and summer, I think it would be a great shoe option for me. I also don't own any black shoes other than like my black boots. The next thing is a colorful leather jacket. For my birthday last year, my boyfriend gave me one of the Aritzia vegan leather shirt jackets and I wear it all the time. I think it's called like the Pelly jacket or something like that. And it is literally such a favorite of mine in my closet. And as much as I love it, I really wish that I also had like a colorful one as well. I just think sometimes black is so edgy and I'm comfortable with that. That look I really am but I also kind of just would love to find like a colorful piece for like spring and summer I just think that would be not that I'll be wearing it in summer but early summer sure just a piece that I could throw on with shorts or a skirt or a dress or whatever and it's just gonna add some color to my outfit I do end up wearing like a lot of black and white t-shirts so it would be kind of fun to have colorful one as well. Um, there are a couple at Aritzia that I obviously really like but they're so expensive and I'd obviously prefer to thrift it. So if I could find something like that I think that would be super cool. Um, so maybe something like green, blue, pink, anything like that but staying away from red because I don't think I would wear a red leather jacket. Still very edgy that one. The next thing that I would love to thrift are midi dresses. Also maxi dresses. I'm gonna be pretty like flexible with that. Just like basically long dresses where I can sit on the subway here and not really worry about how to sit and not have my butt touch the seat. Like I just think that's like really uncomfortable and gross. And I've never really been the biggest fan of like tiny dresses when it comes to wearing them like out and about just because I find the wind is so unpredictable, especially living in Manhattan, I feel like I would wear a mini dress on the street and a wind gust would come and that would be very scandalous. So I prefer to stay away from that. So midi and maxi dresses are so cute and there are so many out there right now that I would love to get my hands on. But again, I'd love to thrift them. So that will be something that I'm looking for. But if you're familiar with thrifting, you know, mostly the thrift store is full of mini dresses. So that will definitely be somewhat of a challenge, but I think I can do it. Along with the midi, maxi dress trend i would really like it to be more on the romantic side i love the trend right now of like the cottage core romantic dresses with the big puffy sleeves and the very feminine necklines and just the beautiful very very attractive silhouettes that they have hopefully i can find some good ones the next thing i would love to find are chunky sandals 
This is something that I really, really hope to find. I'm a little bit unsure that I'll be able to find something like this at the thrift store in my size because honestly, shoe shopping when thrifting is really challenging. And in the past, I mostly get my shoes secondhand like off Poshmark just because it's kind of an easier way to find my size. I'm an eight and a half in shoes and I feel like whenever I go to the thrift store, they're all very small. If I was a size seven, I'd have no trouble finding something like this. But again, like, you know, it's, it's not the easiest thing to find. And chunky sandals aren't even very popular in my opinion, so I feel like I might not find that at the thrift store. But Doc Martens actually has quite a few pairs that I really like right now. And I think that if I go to the Doc Martens store, maybe I can try them on and then see if Poshmark has a pair, just cause I would know my size if I tried them on, which I honestly, I would highly recommend if you ever like a style of shoe and you find a brand that makes that style of shoe, go to wherever sells that brand, try them on, see your size, and then ordering them online through a secondhand website like Poshmark. I feel like that's a great way to get the shoes you want second hand and I've done this so many times before I have a pair of Sam Edelman boots that I wore all the time in the winter that I went into the store in Soho trying them on and then ordered them on Poshmark so definitely a fraction of the cost and a better way to do it next up I would really like to find a colorful pair of sneakers I do a crap ton of walking living here in the city we don't really take cars anywhere we use the subway public transit and you just end up doing so much walking I think I went out yesterday and I literally checked my stats when I got home and I walked like seven miles and I didn't even think I walked that much that day. So yeah, you do a lot of walking. So I definitely think that would be another great thing to get um, if I could find just like another pair of sneakers. Just cause I've been putting a lot of miles on the ones that I own already and it would be just great to have another pair. I also really like these Asics style. I think it's like the gel Kiano or something like that. And they're only like $80 new, but I just, I feel like when I see them, I just, I see the thrift store, you know what I mean? I, I see shoes like that all the time on thrift store shoe racks, and I just think that's something that I can find secondhand, so I'm gonna keep looking for that, but we'll see how that goes. Next up, I would love to find a colorful handbag, and by handbag, I mean crossbody bag, because I really don't wear any other kind of bag. I feel like I never know how much I'm gonna need to carry home, just because whenever I'm out, if there's like a store I've been needing to go to, like Trader Joe's or any store really, I like to go there like if I'm able to. And having another little bag that's colorful and easy to travel with. And like, I don't have to worry about it, carry it, it's just on me. It's like part of my outfit would be so nice to have. And I only really own like black bags, which I'm not complaining. I feel like if I were to own like a color, I would probably only own black bags. And I also have like a checkered tote bag that I wear pretty often that's like a crossbody. But I would love to find like a colorful bag just because I feel like it's much more a look when you're wearing like dresses and skirts in the summer to have like cute bags with that. And I feel like I don't really own that many purses. So if I were to have another purse, I definitely would want it to be bright and cheery and just kind of add things to my outfit. I tend to shy away from color when it comes to my t-shirts and my tank tops and I think that would just be a really good way to add color to my wardrobe, so definitely looking for that. Next, I would love to find a white dress. For this, I definitely would love to do like the mini or maxi that I was talking about before, but honestly, like any white dress, I feel like a white dress is just such a classic look. For those of you out there who are similar to me and sweat a lot, they're great for not showing sweat in the summer and in the heat and just because I walk so much living here I tend to sweat more and a white dress would just really help with that but also I just love the romantic pure vibes of a white dress and I would love to have one so I'm definitely gonna be on the lookout for that and hopefully I'll find one it's honestly really hard to find pure white things at the thrift store so this will be a challenge because I feel like most people donate things when they're stained but we'll see I'm up for it. Next, I would love to find a midi skirt. I'm kind of open to a maxi as well. I just want like longer skirts. I love the look when it gets warmer of girls who just wear like tank tops in a maxi or mini skirt. Just that silhouette to me is so nice. I think it's just really flattering. It's very cool. 
and breezy and I'd love to own another skirt that has like a nice slit down the leg that way it's just a little bit more breezy and cool and it's kind of like wearing a mini skirt a little bit just because you've got that little bit of leg showing you know it, it gives you the same thing where you don't really have to worry about how you're sitting or about your skirt flying up because you still have like coverage so that'd be cool to have definitely gonna be on the lookout for that the next thing is an exercise dress I think this is such a far reach honestly because I don't know how many people are going to be donating something like this right now. It's kind of like a new trend and kind of more of like a summer trend coming out right now. But the exercise dress is hitting the internet hard and I really want one. I think they're so cute with sneakers and honestly any kind of fashion trend that looks good with sneakers, like I, I want to be part of that. I feel like as long as I'm wearing sneakers, living here is so much easier and just like walking is so much easier. So if I were to have one of those, I think it'd be great. They're made out of exercise materials. They're literally mini, but they have shorts underneath. So that's just like wearing shorts. That's amazing. And I really want one. So hopefully I can find one of those one day. And then I would also love to find a pair of trousers. I think it would be so great to find a pair of wide leg trousers at the thrift store. I found one pretty recently that I am so excited about, but they're like this like pretty aggressive aggressive plaid color and although I love the plaid it's just not really like an everyday kind of pant for me I would love to find a solid color pair of trousers that are wide leg and cinch at the waist high waisted that kind of thing and I haven't really been very lucky so far in that I do look at them and I have looked at the men's before but they're just never like the same fit that I want where it's very tailored around the waist and kind of has like a little bit of pleating down the leg. I'm sure I'll find them one day, but definitely hard because I feel like the fit I want is very particular and I'm not really sure if that's something that I'm going to be able to find at the thrift store. Maybe this is something that I'll be better off going in to a store that I like a pair of trousers at, trying them on and then finding them on Poshmark kind of thing, but we'll see. I'm, I'm optimistic that it could happen. And then the last and final thing that I want to look for at the thrift store is colorful home accessories because I recently got these two shelves above my desk here and they just need some personality. I think that it'd be so fun to find some like pastel decor to put up there, maybe a couple cute prints or little trinkets, stuff like that. I recently got these things to put up there because I just thought they'd add so much color. I got this like orange guy, little red guy, and then this blue beautiful little thing at the thrift store, but I just want some more color. So I'm gonna be looking for some colorful home decor. I've been like scouring Pinterest for inspiration and I will be ready when I find it. So yeah, that is all that I will be looking for at the thrift store. That's my thrifting wish list right now. And if you have anything on your thrifting wish list that you've been looking for, please feel free to comment down below. I'd love to hear it. And if you did enjoy this video, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel if you want to. It means so much to me. I would love to grow my channel and do this long term so yeah i hope that you have an amazing day and an amazing week and i'll see you next week bye